What's up guys, hope you're having a great day. My name is Nathan, you may know me from Sick Cars and Trucks. So I have teamed up with Gas Monkey Garage to bring you guys a new series called Automotive America. I'll be traveling all over the country, going to all different types of events. We're starting this thing off with a bang here at Lone Star Throwdown in Conroe, Texas. Short little two and a half hour drive from Dallas. Uh, this is one of the biggest custom car and truck shows in the country. We're gonna be walking around, get some interviews with people, catch some cars cruising, check out all the sick cars and trucks here. So before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, because we are going on an awesome ride this year and we want y'all to come along with us. I'm a sucker for OBS trucks and we have a couple of really clean ones here. So this is Project Yuho. I guess it's a Yukon and Tahoe combined looking really good love the color of that suspension on the black right behind it we got a obs extended cab got the red suspension on that one looking good two really clean trucks leave a comment guys which one would you take would you take the yuho or the extended cab chevy house of hot rods always brings out some really nice rides here we got a beautiful corvette and i saw this thing cruising yesterday and it sounds just as good as it looks not sure what's under the hood of this thing, but it sounds nasty. Beautiful car. Other side of it, we got a bagged and body Dodge Power Wagon. Really cool truck. So this truck's got a really cool paint job. It like fades from brown to green. Some color, some light you look at it and it's a green like right here. And then you walk around, the sun hits it different and it turns to like a root beer brown really cool truck got the wood floor bed nice work back here on the tailgate here we have a Volkswagen Beetle Dually looks like an inline six in there saw that car out at SEMA really cool build there other side of it this is one of my favorite things here at the show this is a Ford tractor powered by a twin turbo 7.3 liter power stroke Got a little surprise over here for you guys too. Check this out. Got a bottle of nitrous on there. Ooh, I bet this thing's a hoot to drive. Ooh, we got the two ballistic Toyota mini trucks. Saw this truck out at SEMA. Really cool build. It was in the kicker audio booth out there at SEMA. Check out that stereo system. Really nice Toyota pickup. Right in front of it, we have a Huckleberry Chevy S10. And this thing has a wicked paint job. Check this out, all airbrushed, hand painted. So much detail. Get over into the interior, it does not disappoint either. We got a, a pistol there for the shifter. Really cool, nice stereo system. Check out the work in the bed. Absolutely beautiful. Here on the hood, it's got a painting that says most wanted. Really cool. So much detail on this paint job. So the mini trucking scene is just incredible when it comes to paint jobs and detail and all the extras guys put into these rides. So here we got a small block Chevy looking good I bet that thing moves pretty good in front of that s10 we got a beautiful Chevy C10 look at the lip on those real rear wheels looking good got that wood floor bed beautiful interior Let's see what's under the hood of this bad boy Ooh, a nice LS tucked in there looking right at home Over here, sitting front and center in this building, we got a 1996 Chevy Silverado Dually. Also saw this truck at SEMA, and this is the cleanest Dually I've ever seen, personally. Absolutely beautiful truck. So much detail. Wait till we get around here to the bed. It's just incredible how much work went into this. Custom interior looking good see the mirrors under there so it's got a red chassis red accents all over it this truck is called no compromise the red ring around the tires there's a really nice touch so this is my personal favorite thing about this truck so how the uh, graphics go down and the 
from the cab to the bed goes all the way down flows down you can see the beautiful red chassis under there just as clean underneath as it is everywhere else absolutely beautiful dually here we have another Chevy C10 powered by a pro charged LS3 beautiful color on this truck love that front grille nice finish on those wheels right on the other side of it we got another c10 i hope you guys like c10s because we have an abundance of them at here and every show nice front lip on there this truck is powered by a 555 cubic inch big block chevy making 750 horsepower check out the, the body work custom body work there really nice interior love the lights how they the lights flow all the way through the dash to the doors we got a spoiler molded into the tailgate here beautiful wood floor bed here we got a 1957 chevy bel air powered by a twin turbo ls really cool turbo setup love that intake carbon fiber intake wow Woo. really nice work under the hood of that bel air check out the interior beautiful interior love the matte finish on the dash got the console going all the way through to the rear beautiful work in the trunk back here also all right, man, what's your name and where are you from? I'm uh, Adam Lewis from Ontario, Canada. Thank wow, you. that's quite a trip out here to Conroe. It was, uh, it was exciting. Exciting to get down here, but it was fun. It was about three days, a couple issues on the road, but we're here. Wow, well, this is an absolutely beautiful truck. Congratulations on being on the, on the event shirts. Thank you. That's huge. So tell us about the truck. Well, uh, it's my first truck. Uh, I got it when I was 16. Uh, my dad, right there, Rick, uh, he bought it for me. That's my uh, 16th birthday present. It was not as nice as it was now, um, it, but uh, the whole thing was he wanted to get, wanted to help me learn how to appreciate something, basically, right? And uh, it snowballed into this. Um, it's one of four long bed GTs that came to Ontario. Uh, we've touched every single piece of this truck. This thing was built in my two car garage at home in Ontario, Canada. This wasn't the shop built vehicle. So you built this truck in a two car garage at yeah. your house? Yeah, this thing was built on jack stands. Like, wow. Built on jack stands, you know, angle grinders, safety squints, you know, that's, that's how it was done. So, yeah. Top notch build. You would never, never that's, be able to tell he built it in a garage. You gotta be really proud of it. So you kind of walked me through yesterday. It's got a lot of body mods on it. What's can <laughs> yeah. you kind of give us a quick rundown? Yeah, sure, sure. So it's uh, it's factory GT. Um, we did some modifications to basically every piece of the body kit as well. Uh, the bumper has been French up. We filled in the two fog light holes up in the top ribs, so we wanted the ribs to continue all the way around. Uh, we fully glass molded the the kit to the truck. Um, we closed in. It's actually a 12 piece body kit, and now it's not. Um, we filled in the gaps between uh, the cab. The rear whole floor section is three different pieces. We Frenched in the rear bumper, we brought it in two inches, and that's just the body kit. Uh, it's got a grand uh, custom uh, full Cali combo on the back. We actually added, added an extra body line to the top of the tailgate uh, just to help break it up a little bit and make it a little bit more interesting, if you will. Explore front grill with the billet insert, fully tubbed in the front, fully tubbed in the back, shaved firewall, uh, third brake light, it's all ABS, uh, uh, LED lights, um, do the side tilt, uh, bed cover in the back um, and it's a, something a little bit different than a lot, a lot of people don't do a lot of little sheet metal things that not a lot of people are ever going to notice we did the ford logo in the back of the cab so we actually took the stamp from the tailgate cut it out put it up in the cab i think that's it for the body <laughs> it's hard to remember all the little it's, things yeah man there's a lot more but uh, yeah. that's that's most of the body work so this was your first truck you drove this truck to high school yeah how long did the build take yeah <laughs> Uh, sorry. From then until now. <laughs> um, I mean, this current iteration of the truck, I would say it was about three and a half years. Uh, but I mean, it's been painted. This is the fifth page up. It's like the eighth set of wheels, the fourth suspension, the like tenth interior. You know, it's 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 been a lot over the years. But uh, this this whole build itself took about three years. I would say. Wow, cool. Not bad at all for this level of build.
That's it's coming from you guys, man. That's that's insane. Yeah, that's huge. Thank you. Well, it's an incredible truck. Thank you so much for making the trip all the way from Canada, all the way out here to Conroe, Texas. Yeah, Hope you have a safe trip back home. Thank you. And thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. All right. So what's your name? My name's Adam Peckingill. Cool. And you painted this truck? Did the paint, the graphics, the bodywork, and everything for Square One here. Dude, you did an amazing job on it. So you said there's an interesting story behind it. Let's let's hear it. So. The old story that goes when a shop takes on work, takes on too much, and they end up going bankrupt or walking away and everybody kind of loses their shirt, that's the story with this. They were supposed to do a bunch of work, of course they took everybody's money up front, and next thing you know it's gone. This thing looked like it was painted in a barn, there was a daddy long leg spider about this big on the roof that we had to get out. There was no clear coat, no color to it. Us being country kids and helping each other, you just help your friend, it's your family gonna get you through so I stopped at the shop the one day and looked at the truck and I'm like dude we gotta get this to my shop just bring it up here let's go after it and we'll get you back on the road for next year we just wanted to make it a driver and then things just slowly with our attention to detail and not letting things just be normal turned into this so yeah it was we took it from one end of it right to the other end and saved him from what could have been a major disaster unfortunately was out a bit of money as well as everybody else in the shop because they just walked away closed the doors but luckily we got the truck out of there awesome managed to get it fixed up and well it's here in texas well you guys did an amazing job on it i oh, appreciate and it and you are Dude. you're one heck of a friend because i love the guy so much and i just wanted to see this truck on the road because i have pictures from 14 years ago of this truck before it was torn apart in my yard in the beach town that i live in in ontario in sable beach it's in my yard I just wanted to see it back on the road. I've never taken a single dime for this truck. No money, no exchange, no payment. Did I ever want it to bring this truck back to life, ever. Dude, that that's story, the way it sits. That literally just gave me goosebumps right? here and that, like, <laughs> I've never. That's awesome. He tries to and I won't, I yeah. won't accept it because it's just me helping the same way we do with other car guys, the same way the many trucking guys do it. You just help each other, that's it. You need a, you need a hand, we're there. And I took this on, I had it in my shop for almost a year and a half, and I wasn't letting it out of there until I was 100% happy with it, and he was 100% happy with it. And here you are, my personal favorite truck of the show here oh, at Lone Star Throwdown. So. We've, we've had nothing but love from Texas. It's been absolutely phenomenal down here. Can't thank Lonnie, Reynard, and those guys enough for bringing it down here. The merch, Andrew from Mini Truck and Takeover from putting us with an award already. Like, this is huge. Coming all the way from Canada, like, this is the biggest and the best show that we've ever been to and done, and we definitely fly back for it. So the support we've had from you guys down here is second to none, man. We, we love it. Well, we appreciate you guys making the trip down appreciate here. you, man. This beautiful Fantastic. truck. Fantastic. Right, trucks are built just a little bit different here in Texas. Let me show you what I mean. So graphics aren't real common on a C10. They look really cool on this truck. This particular truck also has engraved wheels which is more common in the low router scene, but look really good on the C10. Beautiful light blue paint job and those graphics look really good together. Check out the interior. You can see engraved trim all around. You got the engraved steering wheel, engraved bezels around the gauges there. Got a big old lip on these rear wheels looking sick so much detail we got the blue bed liner to match so even the air tank here is graved how cool is this guys here we have a bagged and bodied nissan pickup really cool paint job on this truck so the more you look at it the more little details you'll find when the sun hits it from different angles you just see more and more details so one of my favorite things about this truck is the target top you see the storage for the target goes right back there right behind that skateboard really cool we got some cool work the uh, plexiglass bed cover there where you can see the suspension really nice interior love that oh we got a nice ford f1 pulling through clean oh love that patina Drop a comment, guys. Y'all like patina or would you paint it? Always mixed opinions about it. I love both styles myself, but back to this mini truck. As you see, a completely different paint job on this side. 
really cool. So this little pickup here is called the Low Lugs. Super clean little truck. Well, not clean literally because it's super dusty out here, but you get the point, guys. Got the red interior. Really nice. Really nice work in the bed back here. I love how they cut that out. You can see the frame and all the suspension exposed there. Really nice work. The low lugs, really nice, grafted into the tailgate there. Oh, we got a bagged and boosted Camaro coming through. Man, this thing sounds good, looks good. Look at the stance on this thing. Woo! Dragging the Camaro. Can't say I've ever seen that before. That is sick. This crew cab Chevy here has one of the craziest paint jobs I've ever seen. Take a quick walk around it. You can see this side is white. Back here on the bed, it transitions into green. And then boom. Got the tailgate all molded in. Got the bumper molded in. Beautiful truck. Crazy paint job on this thing. So much detail. Really nice interior. The paint goes into the interior also. The same the paint scheme carries over into the interior. You can see on the dash there is half green, half white. Really cool. Got the subwoofer there in the console. Check it out. The paint even goes in the door jams. Top notch paint job here. Holy crap, this truck here is insane. Oh, cool. Half the suspension's pink and half is blue or purple. That's really cool. Woo! What a monster. Gotta love these old school mini trucks. Check out this 1991 Toyota pickup named Trailer's Trash. Well, this truck's got a target top. Really cool. Really nice interior. Gotta love the look of these bed toppers on here also. Really nice work here, how the graphics go up on the bed topper. You see the line here? So the graphics go up about six inches or so above the bed topper. Really clean work. All right, man, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name's uh, Masters, I'm from Denver, Colorado. Dude, so I've been following you on social media for a long time. It's so good to finally see you and this badass Lincoln out here in person at Lone Star Throwdown. Right on, for sure. So tell us a little bit about the car. So this is a 1969 Lincoln Continental. <laughs> We uh, did a full chassis up build on it. Uh, it's got a twin turbo 6.0 built by Redline Performance. It's a full chassis car. Uh, full blown customs did the chassis on it. Nick at Wicked Bolts did all the sheets that are on the side. Corbo seats, just kind of revamped those with 5280 upholstery. So it looks like no part of this car has been untouched. What condition did you buy the car in? It was, uh, it looked like a good starter. I kind of blindside bought it and then started tying in the cage into it and the chassis was just, it's a unibody so it was all rusted out. So then we just decided to blow it apart and just put a full chassis under it. Dude, it's so crazy seeing a Lincoln Continental with a full chassis. You also got two parachutes hanging off the back of this yeah. thing. Okay. So are you gonna, are the parachutes gonna be functional? Oh yeah, I'm gonna pop it on people's hood if things are quick. <laughs> so guys, if you see this Lincoln Continental cruising down the highway, the chances are it's probably gonna blow your doors <laughs> off and pull two parachutes in your yep. face. And then for now, this is just the motor that we have in it. Uh, Texas Speed is doing a build for me, so it should be around 2,000 horse. Holy moly, you're gonna push 2,000 horsepower out of this car? Yep. <laughs> That's insane. Yep. So, any other plans with it besides? Um, just for right now, we're just gonna finish up all the little sheet metal Nick at Wicked Welds is, and then we're gonna blow the whole car completely apart, put it on the rotisserie, and uh, make sure that there's no Bondo, nothing in it, and then paint it all the way up. So, chassis up. Dude, that's insane. This is by far the baddest Lincoln Continental on the planet. Right on, so, man, I appreciate it. You should be really proud of it. Heck yeah, thank cool. you. Thank you for your time. Right on. Looks good. Sub 
substantial is what it says. Ooh, nice. We got the K5 Blazer Roadster. Sick. Love this truck. It's called the Sancho. This truck's bagged, bodied, and powered by a supercharged LS engine. Hey, what's up guys, it's Chris, JTX Forge. Uh, we're here at Lone Star Throwdown 2024. Um, Gas Monkey brought out the skid mark. Uh, it's here in our booth this weekend, along with several other trucks. We have a bunch of lowered, lifted vehicles out here. Uh, this truck though, only C10, I got in the booth this year, and it's beautiful. Man, so you just said it, you got lowered trucks, lifted trucks, side by sides. Is there anything you guys don't make wheels for? Right now, I mean, a lot of guys are beating me up on trailers. Um, everybody wants their trailer done. Uh, their whole rig matches, their, their tow vehicle, their lifted, their lower truck, trailers on steelies. Uh, nice. We're getting beat up by that. Um, one big thing this weekend too, we did have an Audi R8 and a Lamborghini Huracan in the booth. Uh, we made a nice set of monoblock wheels for both of those. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We got a few of those cars coming out here soon. Uh, you'll see a lot more of that. So, Heck yeah, very yes, cool. Yes, sir. You got you even got exotics, ATVs, slam trucks, lifted trucks, everything you get there. Lots of variety here in the JTX booth. So I got a question for you. How did yes, JTX sir. start? What's the story behind JTX? JTX started as a side by side wheel. Um, back about 2016, 2017, uh, wasn't anything really on the market for the side by sides. Uh, 22 inch is where it started, then it went to 24s bigger. Um, taking those bikes to the mud parks, everybody looking, what are those, what are those? I want some, I want some. And uh, next thing you know, side by side wheels are out in the market selling those. Um, that kind of went for a little bit. And then uh, 2019, we started with the lifted truck, the 20 inch to the 30 inch wheel with the lifted trucks. And uh, that's when it really took off. We went full retail with that and, and here we are. Man, it's five so years later and it's five short it's amazing. years. Wow. Five You've years later. Tremendous amount in five years. Yes. So it's great seeing your growth. Love following you on social media. Um, one more question for you. So you're around all these sick cars and trucks all the time. What is your personal favorite vehicle? Personal favorite vehicle, my truck. <laughs> your truck, yeah. the, the new 2024. I got 2024 got Chevy uh, High Country Dually. Uh, nice chrome FTS kit on that. Uh, 28 inch wheels, it, it just, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> it's a beautiful truck. Thank you. So guys, check out JTX on social media and thanks, you, thanks for your time, Chris. Yes, sir. Woo, another nice two door Tahoe. Sick graphics on this one too. Got that rag top. Perfect day for cruising that bad boy. It is 75 and sunny here in Conroe, Texas. All right guys, this is the sickest Chevy Tahoe I've ever seen. This thing got lots of custom work on the front end. Slam, shave, got a sick stereo system in this thing. Woo! Man, listen to it. Slam, scammed, all the above. Got a really nice, looks like an older build here called Resurrect. Really nice truck. What is this thing, man? It's a 99 Escalade. Nice, it's really clean. What year was it built? Uh, it's a long time ago. It's the original old Escalade from like Florida. Nice, so it's been built since uh, yeah, the 90s. Nice, really cool. Nice stereo system back there. Sick. Cool, man. Have a good day. Don't see many older Escalades. That's that's really nice there. We got a hot peak bag crew cab Dodge Ram right behind it. We got a bagged and boosted hot rod here. A diesel engine. Woo, what a beast. That thing's sick, bro. That's so sick. Rolling inches off the ground. All right, guys, we even got a donk in the house. We got an old Caprice here. What is that? We got an LSX. Bro, what engine's in here? What what engine's in this bad boy? Nice, sick, dude. This thing's clean. Love the color. Love the color of this. We got a Ford Bronco looking mean. Wow, that is like a perfect setup. That tire and wheel combo is really nice. Got a couple of sick lifted trucks rolling through. Love the suspension setup on this bad boy. So we got the purple frame with the green springs. Looks good. That's clean. Orange wheels. Got the green air tank. Nice. Behind it, this one's simple and clean. It's got white and like a turquoise green color suspension. Looking good. Behind it, we got another GMC Denali. We got some high roller shooter today, boys. 
Love the color of this suspension here too. We got the teal colored frame. Looking good. Here we got a slam Ford F100. This green paint on this truck is absolutely beautiful when the sun hits it. Woo. Not sure what engine's in there. I'm sure it's a nice engine underneath that cover. Looking good. Love the wheel combo on this truck. Got some big lip wheels out back. Got the wood floor bed. Looking good. Other side of it, we got a slammed OBS Chevy. Love the two-tone on that one. Cow hood looking good also. Other side of it, we got a C10 looking good super clean really nice engine in this one they say chrome will get you home this bad boy will definitely get you home looks like a runner too love the interior in this i haven't seen this per i personally haven't seen this in another truck but check out the designs in the seats here we got them on the door panels Really nice work on the interior here. Beautiful Chevy C10. See there's mirrors underneath it. Underneath it's just as clean as the outside. We got another C10 here named Lucy. Beautiful truck. Love that two-tone. Love the paint job on this one. Really nice work on the hood. You see it's got custom work on the hood see the lines there other side of view we got a slammed obs extended cab gmc sick paint job on this Woo. very nice slammed shaved looking good out here at lone star throwdown really nice interior check that dash out Woo. that is clean Get back around here to the bed. It's got a little nice surprise. Got a bed cut. This thing's got a really sweet stereo system in it. Love how they left that open. You can see the frame and all that. Really nice work. Too nice to be covered up for sure. All right, guys, coming up here, we got the Young Dolph wrapped Chevy Dooley. Setting off some JTX Forge wheels, looking good. Right behind it, we got the Young Dolph wrapped Ford F250. Two iconic trucks rolling around together here at Lone Star Throwdown. Don't get much better than that, guys. Leave a comment. Which one would you take? Would you take the Dooley or the lifted F-250? The custom truck scene is live and well here in Texas. This place is packed full of spectators, packed full of sick cars and trucks. Check out this OBS GMC pulling through here. Slammed and cam. Got the hood cut out. You know it's got something serious when it's got a cutout on the hood. That's a bad man jamma. All right, guys. I see this. Dodge here all over the internet. Leave a comment. Too big, too small, just right. Leave a comment, guys. I want to know what y'all think. A lot of work went into this truck. Leave a comment. What do you think? Too big, just right, not enough. Let me know. Right over here, we got a slammed Ford F100 with a Coyote 5.0 under the hood. Looking good. Looks like it should have came from the factory that way. Super clean install. Nice blue on the seats inside there. Got that black wood floor bed looking really good. Blue looks really nice on this F100. Long bed C10s aren't super popular in the show scene, but this one right here is a really nice example. That red two-tone going down the center looks really good. Over here, we got another slam C10 with a nice two-tone paint job on that bad boy also. So this here, this is a Hot Wheels themed K5 Blazer. This kind of gave me a lot of inspiration for my little S10 I'm building. Really cool truck, love the flame job on this. Don't blame them for having the windows closed up because it is very windy and dusty out here, but this thing actually has a Hot Wheels track that goes down the center console. Really cool. Well, this is a pretty wild looking truck here. So I've never seen lifted trucks do this with their air ride until here this weekend. DC's so got the passenger side aired out and the driver side aired up. So it's got that little lean to it. Pretty cool, I like it. 
Beautiful truck. I absolutely love the look of this square body dually. This paint job is too cool. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Kind of a retro paint scheme. This here is one of the prettiest Chevy 3100 fleet sides that I've ever seen. Starting with the bed here. Really nice chassis. I love the chrome exhaust. Also love how it goes up over the rear end. Beautiful silver paint. Wheels fit it nicely. Check out the interior. Ooh. That red is looking good. Here we got a supercharged LT4 engine. Love the color on that. It also has uh, matching brake calipers. Really nice touch. So coming up here, we got a bagged and bodied International Lodestar. This truck is actually on the 2024 Lone Star Throwdown event t-shirts. Beautiful truck. Recently just got a revamp, got a new paint job, got new side steps. Check it out, guys. it we got another international this one doesn't have a bed on it still really clean truck international lodestar 1600 gotta love these international trucks looking good gotta love a dually laid out over here we got a really clean ford f-250 white looking good those lights looking good Huge Dodge Mega Cab. This thing is massive. Got the air ride suspension on there. Custom badges. Pretty cool. Even got custom engraving in the wheels. Check it out. We got the goat in the wheels. Really nice truck here. Even has the goat in, in the suspension there. Other side of it, we got a Ford F. Ford F-150 Custom, my bad. Super clean truck, love the two-tone on this one. Really nice old school Ford. That is like a really clean build. Nice billet wheels on there. All right guys, and that is it for Lone Star Throwdown 2024. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you at the next event.